What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Takeout Tuesday, episode number three. We are at a local Lincoln, Nebraska favorite, apparently. Will and I never tried it. Colton, blogger, Safe Saturdays. How's it going? On this, on this show, released this morning. This is Saturday. So go watch the latest podcast. Colton will be in it. We're talking NFL football. Go check it out. All right. So I don't know if we even said where we're at, but we're at Don and Millie's. You want to tell wh why, why Don and Millie's got picked? Uh... You know, we talked about it last episode. I got absolutely shredded on the runs of Reddit for saying that uh, McDonald's has good good burgers, and that's where I'd go. You didn't just say good. You said they were the place to go for a burger. I said if I which want a burger. Which, if I want a burger, I'm going to go to McDonald's. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Well, there's a lot. There's and, you a lot. Got, and you got tor torched for it like you should there's have. There's a lot. You should have gotten torched for it. There's a lot that went into that statement. They're cheap at McDonald's. They're fast. And the Big Mac is tasty. Okay, I don't think it's the best burger I've ever had, but it's a good burger. That's right. I got I got a second of beef in there. Bam. Colton, we're bringing you on more. I like that. I like it. All right, so. But anyway, Drunken Walden hit me up. Basically said I've never been outside my parents' umbrella. <laughs> so here's me venturing outside my my parents' umbrella. All right, guys. So I got the single Don. Looks like just a solid burger. Some cheese, tomato, lettuce, mayo, some bacon on there. Looks pretty solid. And a chili dog. It was on their specialties. So, I mean, I, I had to try it. I gotta, I gotta get what they do best. What did y'all get? Uh, I went with the, the double Don. Looks like we have some, uh, we got some bacon on this one. Two hamburgers. This is the same thing, just with an extra patty. Yeah, she's pretty thick. Uh, and then we got a side of fries and cookies. Yeah, apparently the cookies are good too. Did, we, did anyone get a shake? I did not get a shake. No, I didn't get a shake. I got chicken tenders, the double Don, and the cookies. And then I mixed Di uh, Dr. Pepper and Pepsi. Also, I I'd like to point out that since we since we recorded the Runza one, it has been it has been disproven. They do not have special Pepsi at Runza. Yes, they do. They do not have special Pepsi at Runza. Let me clarify this for all you Runza haters. I said the Runza Pepsi hits different because it does. It does hit different. And if you want to disagree with me on that, then well, I just don't care. That, that's it. Gotta be real honest with you, this, this chicken is not bad for a place that specializes in burgers. It's better than McDonald's chicken tenders. Oh. I would hope so. God, I spill ranch on myself every time. I'm liking it so far. Yeah, it's... It's some juicy meat. I don't know about you, my, my bun was kind of soggy at the bottom. Oh, right. Mine was kind of... Damn. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting a lot of drip here, too, but... Yeah. Other than that... I think that might be from the tomatoes just dripping. The burger looks like it's... Like, they grind it themselves. Like, they... It's not like... Some trash McDonald's stuff. It looks like they put a lot of love into this burger. Well, I'm willing I to like bet. That. I'm willing to bet. That's some good Omaha beef right there. Omaha beef. You know, we got a we got a Nebraska brand here. We're probably gonna be going after some of that high quality Nebraska meat. Nebraska meat is high quality. That's right. Something okay. we cannot say about the football team here. Get ready. I got an onion ring with mine. Did you get an onion ring? Oh yeah, an onion ring. Yeah, they threw an onion ring in mine, I guess. Oh, it goes on top of the double don. According, oh, according to the per, uh, per no, no, well, I took it out. Oh, here we go. Got that onion ring. I'm not a big onion ring guy. Love onions though. Just pop an onion raw. So. All right, the burger's down. It was pretty solid. Got a nice styrofoam, unbranded styrofoam container. Also, since it's Saturday. College football's back. Kansas State and Iowa State went down today. Upset me. I like Kansas State. Celtics won last night. If you want to talk about that Kansas State game? Talk about Jonathan Adams, wide receiver for Arkansas State. Gus Johnson has already declared he's a he's a future Pro Bowler. So make sure to pick him up in your fantasy leagues as soon as he's available. Colton definitely got a soggy bun here. Yeah, 
yeah, it had looks like it was sitting in its own juices for a little too long. Mm -hmm. But it still tasted phenomenal. I would say the fries are comparable to McDonald's. They look like McDonald's fries. Right, yeah. They look they don't, they definitely don't taste as good, but comparable. I don't know how I feel about the chili dog. The bread to meat ratio in this is very heavy bread. Uh -huh. Not a very big dog. I don't like that. Yeah, chili's good though. Heat to it. I like it. Chili does? No. Yeah. It's a little kick. I like that. You know what this logo reminds me of? I'm, I'm gonna put a picture of this in so everyone in back uh, watching will know I'm right. But this logo reminds me of the New Mexico license plates. It does. It, it does. They have like the, the little like weird star thing in the middle. I get them. Not for I mean, I could throw down another casual flex like I did in today's episode of Safe Saturdays. I don't, uh, I don't uh, see a lot of New Mexico plates. Well, I saw a lot when I was at the NCAA Indoor Track Championships oh. Oh. Right, oh. For, my, for my other job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big guy over here. Go first. You ready? No, he's not. He's still eating. I'm like, gotta he's let all, the, he has like two bites up. You gotta so. let the guest go first. You know? I was at him, but he's he's uh he's got two bites up. So what do you say? Oh no! It's a lot of hamburger. Mhm. Mm they had a triple don on there too. I there's no way. There's that. It's a lot of don. Well, prepare to have your Nebraskan status revoked because Runza Runza pulls that liberally. Boom. <sighs> okay. So are you gonna go first then? Well, no. Yeah, well you go first. No, yeah. guest always goes first. You're done. Go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Don and Millie's cleanliness. We actually went in this time. This is the first time we've actually gone into a place because it was, uh, we could. I got good vibes in there. I don't know what y'all thought. It was pretty clean. It was giving me those old dinerish vibes. Had some cool old pictures, those Elvis pictures kind of thing. So. Give it, I'll give it a 15 on cleanliness. 15 out of 20. I feel like that's pretty solid. Taste, I thought it was pretty solid. I mean, I thought it was good. You guys mentioned the soggy bun. The burger was pretty, it looked homemade. Uh, give it a, I'll give it a 15 on taste. Customer service. It did take a little long for us to get up there. They only had one person working up there, so it's not her fault. But I wish they had, they were running two counters. But it really didn't take that long for us to get our food. So, I mean, I'll give it a 12. Um, cost for a double Don and a chili dog, I think mine was like nine bucks. That's pretty cheap, because I'm like stuffed right now. So, cost, I'm gonna give it a 17. Intangibles, it's gonna be a high score. I'm gonna give it a 19 on intangibles, because they had a pretty big menu. They got the shakes, the cookies, which I didn't try, but that was solid. I mean, it was really good. They got salads, awesome. They had, you got the chicken strips, something for the whole family when you come here. It was pretty good. And most importantly, my number, my 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 order number was sixty nine, so nice. that was just an added tip. Added tip. All right, so. 
And then, so I'm gonna get what I give it a 19. Did I give that a 19? 19, 19, 19 yeah. tangibles. That gives me an overall score of 78. And that that is a that is um is that a st all star? That's an all star. No, it's not. It's starter. That's a starter. That's a starter. One point away. Two points, and it would have been an all star. So kind of like. So it's a, a starter. It's like a Chris Middleton. It's like a starter. Yeah. Shouldn't have been an all star, Chris Middleton. It's a. Uh, we don't need to bring Chris Middleton into this. What's I this? will drag his name whenever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Starter, 78. I think that's a good score. I like that score. I think it's a fair score. Here's one of the cookies. It says it's chocolate chip. It looks like oatmeal raisin, so I'm, I'm nervous. That looks it's, like a good cookie, though. It's chocolate chip. That looks like a solid homemade cookie. Yeah, they're good. That just looks soft. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah, other. Alright, well, I'll, I'll go. Uh, for cleanliness, I'll give it a 17. Um, looked pretty clean. I really like the vibe in that in Don Millie, so... Um, I think 17's a solid position there. Taste, um, you know, the hamburger was exceptional. Fries, fries are a little disappointing. I'd say most places have better fries. Uh, cookie was really, really good. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'll say, I'll say 16. I'll say 16 just because the fries, the huge fries guy. So, fries brought down for me. I'll do 16. Um, customer service. Not much to experience with customer service in, in places like this. Um, they're not waiting. They're, they're, you don't have a waiter really or anything. So uh, other than that, it was pretty fast. So let's see. Uh, we'll go 17. Um, yeah, 17 at customer service. Um, cost, I would say it was a little more on the expensive side, honestly, uh, for, for fast food places. but. Uh, I guess I understand why the, the food is, oh, I would say, a lot more higher quality than, than some fast food chains. But are we considering this a fast food place or a sit-down place? Because it has a drive through It's fast food. Yeah, okay. it's fast okay. food. Because um, it has both. I would say it is a little more on the expensive side, so I'm going to say I'll give it a 14. 14 for cost. Not bad. Um, intangibles, uh, like Will said, they have basically basically everything you want there. They even have alcohol. You can have some 99 cents. I forgot about that. Margaritas. So, um, yeah, if you want to get some cheap margaritas, this is a place to come. So, yeah, intangibles, I would, I'm going to say I'm gonna say 19. It's a pretty solid place for that. Um, uh, which is an overall score of, uh, let's see, a 83. 83. Okay. That's an all-star. Um, so, yeah, so that would give it... Give it all star status. So far, we got starter and all star. It's looking pretty good for Don and Millie's. Ethan, what are you going uh, He's, you know, our commenter is going to hate me, but. Gosh, what do you have against uh, I the don't, basketball? I don't anticipate this is going to score very well. Oh, no. It was a soggy bun for you, wasn't it? What did you know, think of the cookie? Was the cookie the good? Cookie I thought was, the cookie was good. Okay, so my the first cookie I ate was good, but then the one I gave to you to try, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what it was. I think it's probably because I had them in the sun. The one that I ate first was on top in the sun, so it got hot and like melted. Uh, but it was way softer than the second one. So, first cookie, not not the best cookie I ever ate, but it was an exceptional fast food cookie. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a fast food cookie, so you're not gonna right, get it fresh. Right. Out well, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, you know, my mom, my mom can do better, but McDonald's cannot. That's right. I think you just need to leave the scope of your mom's umbrella. I think it's a problem. <laughs> I agree. Okay. okay. Shout out to that commenter. He's gonna live in infamy forever. So, with that being said, you know, I, I gotta be real honest. I was not impressed with the burger. I was impressed with the fries or the chicken fingers more. Fries were all right. I'm gonna have to go with a nine for taste. Nine. 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 nine yes. Yep. What? Wow. The state Man. of Nebraska is gonna come after you. You know, they they got they got that nine. I'd say five of those points were. Purely because of the cookie, three of them were from wow. the. How was the ranch? Did three you of like them. The ranch? Three, of, three of them were from the fingers, and then one of them was from the ranch because that ranch, that was that was the best fast food re uh, ranch I've ever had. Whoa. But you're still only giving them a nine. Well, it's, what it, was wrong with that? I, I don't show up to a I don't show up to a fast food restaurant because it's got good ranch. Uh, that's false. I'm not going to walk. I'm not going to walk up and that's, drink a cup. That's so. Of that, ranch. Is, that is definitely false. I've seen you do it. Not go to a restaurant because it doesn't. I've have seen a ranch. you buy a Chick Fil A ranch in the in the. Well, I'm not going to Chick Fil A because they have good ranch. It might be the deciding factor. If I'm like, oh, I could go to Chick Fil A, 
I think that's. Or I could go to Popeyes and I'm like, nah, I'm gonna go to Chick Fil A. Okay, that I sounds like it's brand. based on the ranch. Though. Okay, so no cost, one goes to Popeyes. Taste, taste is a nine. Right. Cost, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna be all honest with you. I wasn't really paying attention to the cost, <laughs> so he I'm was gonna just flipping the car. Yeah, wow, well, I, uh, I'm gonna have to go with. I did, I did see it was like nine or seven, seven or nine dollars like for a double don. So I'm gonna give them a twelve for for cost. Uh, you know. There's cheaper places. There's yes. more expensive places. Customer service. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with 15. Okay. Probably would have been a little higher because the gal behind the counter was friendly and the gal who gave me my bag was friendly. But don't accept Discover card. Yeah. yeah. yeah well. She that would have lost a lot more points. But she was nice and she explained it to me. She was yeah. like, "This is why we don't." And I'm like, "Okay, that makes sense. I can't really fault you guys for it." So I'm 15 for 15 for customer service, cleanliness. Uh, I'm gonna go 15 with that as well. You know, it didn't look like it had just been recently mopped, but it looked like that they do take pride in their presentation. It was pretty clean. You know, I mean, it, it didn't look brand new, but mm -hmm. it was just mm -hmm. clean. Right. Yeah. Nice and then place. Intangibles. Notably, they do have a lot on their menu. It does concern me normally when I show up to a fast food restaurant. I'm like, they don't have. They, they don't they do everything but do they do anything well that's fair. yeah that's you gotta fair. be able to do it right that's fair but oh, we got a wide array of stuff today and right. i think right yeah we i mean and chicken that's dogs, the goal mm -hmm. yeah. and i thought it was all uh, apparently you thought it was terrible yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I said it was, i i didn't like the burger that and i didn't i didn't think the fries were anything special i liked three of the things i i had but intangibles I thought that they did pretty well with the chicken fingers, and if everyone else thinks that the burgers are good, and I can go with my friends who want to get a burger, and I can get the fry or the fingers, you know that's a pretty good place, pretty well rounded, got something for everybody. So I'm gonna give them a 19 in intangibles. Oh, there you go. Bringing them up to a 70. 70. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the floor, but that's a start. I'm, I'm in, I'm in, the, I'm in the ballpark with these guys here. So. Yeah, so that's a that's a low score, but it's still starter. So you're you're sitting right now, probably. That's like and Eric. in baseball, that's this is your your fifth guy in the rotation. Fifth guy, I think more like sixth. There's no six guys in the rotation. Oh, you're pitching. 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 I thought oh, you were talking about the batting order. No, I was, I'm talking about I'm pitching. <coughs> this is this is your fifth guy. I'm probably putting him in my two to three guy. Yeah, I'm saying there. Colton, yeah, Colton, Colton's putting him in the two three Col hole. It's, he's Colton's ace. Dude, honestly, it's feeling that way. So the cookie I don't know. for me. Mm. I feel you like you barely. I mean, yeah. Yeah, starter. Yeah, maybe bullpen guy. Good. Maybe uh, your first pull, bullpen <laughs> option. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I mean, it was solid. I'd, everyone come out here. Where are we at? Where Where's this place at? Eighty fourth. Eighty fourth and O Street. Street. Eighty fourth and O. There's another one on fifty six, but you said it wasn't as great looking. Uh, it's it's in like a strip mall. Yeah. So if you're coming down Noise, come down eighty fourth and O. Yeah. Over here by Southeast Community College, across from Parker's Smokehouse. Maybe give that a try. I don't know. We'll find out. Where All are right. we going next week? Where are we going next week? Have let's, we not let's decided? Let's wait. We'll wait. We'll let's wait. wait. Surprise you. All right. We're going to surprise you with that. And what I'm going to be surprised by right now is if Will can get any of these questions correct. I did zero. For Don and Millie's trivia. I did zero prep, so. This was actually a really hard one to do. Last week, obviously, I introduced it with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's got a Wikipedia page, so you can just go look at that, find trivia. Don and Millie's, no Wikipedia page. And the About section on their website is like three sentences long. So I was really, I was really scratching for... For everything, can, can I can get go to Colton once though, right? Yep, Colton is a lifeline for one question. Ooh, I better not catch you looking at my my notepad oh, up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me grab my pen. Remember, every correct answer is five percent off the Save Saturday Shop website. So head on over, depending on if Will gets any of these questions right or not. All right, start you off easy. Multiple choice question: How many locations does Don and Millie's have? In where? It's total. total. Yep. A seven, B ten, or C eight. Ooh. With eight C. That is correct. Oh, Boom. Nice. five percent. Nice. I'm here for y'all. I'm here for y'all. I do it for you. What year did Don and Millie's open? 1992, 1985, or 1989? Can repeat that. 1995. 1985, 1989. I go 89. Correct. Wow, he's 10%. on fire today. All right, 
Donnie, Don, this is not a multiple choice question. Don and Millie's is in three different cities. Name them. In Nebraska? Just period. They period. have eight locations. Uh, Lincoln, Omaha. How many different cities? Three? three? Yep. Okay, Lincoln and Omaha, I know that for a fact. Um, wow. The... There's only one location in this last town. Is it in Nebraska? It is. It's in Nebraska, Lincoln, Omaha. I'm going to have to go Kearney. That is incorrect. What is it? It's Bellevue. Oh. Bellevue? I was going to say Beatrice. Okay, that's technically a part of Omaha. Not according to DonandMillies.com. Oh. It's technically oh. a part of Omaha. Boom. Like, that's what city? Crap. What city did Don and Millie's open in? Have you used Colton yet? I have not. How many, how many questions do I have left? Two. Well, I'm going to bring Colton in. Then. On this one? This is the fifth one the hardest one? Yeah, the fifth okay, one. Okay, I'm going to bring Colton in for the fifth one. That's probably a good call. Because yeah, I, I think I can guess this one. Yeah. I'm just going to go Lincoln. Lincoln? Yeah. That's incorrect. Omaha? Uh -huh. It is Omaha. Uh -huh. Ow. I had a 50% shot. No, nah, it's, it's, it's Carney. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is probably going to be a pretty easy one for Colton to answer. The double Don is what number on the Don and Millie's menu? Dude, I didn't even look. <laughs> um, I, think was, I think it was number four. Number it was an early one, I thought. Uh, I don't know. They had a lot well, of they had, this, they had like a hamburger, they had a cheeseburger. I think you're I right. I think the double Don I'd was go with three four. or four. I think we should go with four. Because they had like a hamburger, cheeseburger, they had something else. Yeah. Or did it go hamburger, cheeseburger, and then the double Don? No, I think it went four. I think it was four. I think We're going to go four? Yeah. We're going to go four. We're going to go four. That is incorrect. No. Was it number three? It was number three. Oh, oh my gosh. I knew it was up there. I'm sorry. I let you guys down. Un Darn it. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> only getting 10% off this week, but head on down to the safesaturdays-shop.com. It'll be takeout 10 this week, so make sure you check out all the stuff we have on there. And we do have Takeout Tuesday exclusive gear now. So maybe not a fan of the Save Saturdays podcast, which I can't imagine you wouldn't be because it's exceptional. That's right. Col podcast. Colton was on this week. Check it out. Other than that. Also, always... comment. Let us know if you want Colton to come back for future podcasts or Takeout Tuesdays. <laughs> let us know. All right. I also, we're taking all food suggestions, so please, if you have a favorite that you know is in Lincoln. Or Omaha. We can travel. We, we'll, we, can we travel. will travel. Please drop it. Otherwise, we'll just pick the next one down the line. We'll do it. Actually, you know, I think we were Popeyes. When are we going to do Popeyes? At some point. Okay. All right. Well, we got we to go some chicken. So I think we might do Popeyes. We might do Popeyes. I know. We'll surprise you. We'll let you all know. Keep your eyes on social media. Safe Saturdays underscore IG is our new... Instagram. Also check out the Takeout Tuesday Instagram. Be up. Watch the All podcast. Up yeah. Watch the show. That's Watching right. the football this That's weekend. Right. Yep. All right. That's about it. See you guys next time. And always remember to. Tip Saturdays.